Hey guys. So we're back on the trail. Uh, today I'm at South Mountain State Park. I'm going to hike into a sawtooth campsites. I kind of want to explore a little backcountry camping. I'm not going to spend the night tonight, but I do want to find uh, a good hammock location. I also want to find uh, an adequate water source. So, um, start the trailhead, probably uh, hundred yards in already. Had to get out of the parking lot. It's going to fill up pretty soon. So it's uh, it's nine o'clock, and I will give you some more trail footage when things get more interesting. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so I'm still on the trail. I've um, just visited Little River campsites. It's up on this knoll here to my my left. It's at the peak. It's a grassy, it's a grassy bald. It looks like the uh, park rangers probably mow it with a tractor and a brush hog. Doesn't look as very difficult to get up here because the trails are clearly as you can see behind me. And as you can see over here, they're uh, wide, well maintained, well groomed. Um, part of this is an equestrian park. And it was a few minutes ago and I had a horse come up on me. So of course I get off the trail, it'll pass. But uh, that was pretty cool. So there's a uh, horse camping. Kind of gives new meaning to car camping. So I think I'm headed to the Little River. I can hear water down below. I can't see it yet. But uh, I'm not going this way. I'm gonna follow the trail. I don't know if you see that or not. But it's, uh, it's a long ways down. So we'll do the switchbacks. When I get down to the water, I'll, uh, if I can see anything, I'll let you guys see it too. So see you in a little bit. Hey guys, we're back. And uh, I'm still on the trail. I think I'm coming to a water crossing. I sure enough am. Oh, look at that. There's a bridge. <laughs> Sweet. Looks like I'm not getting my feet wet today. I brought my Crocs just in case, but there's a little little bridge. You can see it here. Uh, cool little stream. So, I have to say I'm pretty happy to get out. It's been raining for days. Um, the trails are not muddy at all so far. And uh, the bugs aren't bad at all either. It's, um, I think today is the 20th of June. Well, I don't think. Today is the 20th of June, and uh, it's Father's Day weekend. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to all those folks out there. And uh, still some pretty, pretty streams. Well, this one's pretty deep. And you probably can't see them, but there's a. Uh, some minnows. I'm looking for like a really big trout, but uh, maybe two or three inch minnows. That's a shame. I'd get my fishing license and come back. So. All right, we're gonna do some more trail time. So see you in a little bit. 
Hey guys, so I have made it to a junction and there's a lot of signs that says uh, danger, slippery, you know, stay on the trail kind of stuff. Um, so I took this little spur. I think it's a spur trail. It's, it's not marked with blazes that I can see. Uh, but it looks like it used to be at some point in time by this marker right here. But the scent's gone. But what's really cool is this little waterfall. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if you can see it from where I'm at using the GoPro. And I got some mail. I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, I know it's kind of hard to hear me. But we're at the top of a waterfall. That's pretty slick. I mean, not slick, but that's pretty slick. I'm going to try to get a little closer to get you guys in a little closer. But we're not going to danger anybody. Uh, rocks are a little bit slippery. So... I can extend you out a little bit. It's a long ways down too. Let's see if I can get you turned around. That is pretty cool. That's about as close as I want to get. All right, well, climb out of here. A little side spur, well worth it. Oh, there's nothing in there, which is good. <laughs> All right, let's go on out this way. So that wasn't too far off the beaten path. Here's our little signs that says, uh, slippery surfaces. They have a little fence. I guess they just want you to understand they don't want you heading that way too much. Danger ahead. Okay, so we're back on the trail. I have to hold these things, otherwise they rattle. So, all right. When it gets to something more interesting, I'll bring you back. Hey guys. So I made it here to uh, Sawtooth Campground. And this is the water source. It's uh, nice cold mountain spring water. Pretty well moving. It does uh, go down a little slide. But uh, enjoyable on your feet after a nice long walk. But uh, the campgrounds are pretty full. I was just kind of uh, scouting in to see how the campground was going to look, what sites to pick. There's only three sites to pick, and site three seems to be the best one, and it's closest to the water source. So, the water source is. 500 yards maybe from the campsite. That's nice. So I'm gonna head back to the campsite. I'm gonna head to uh, Chestnut Knob and then I'll conclude my hike. So see you in a little bit. So I've hiked my way right into a blueberry patch. And I've got me a bunch of mountain blueberries. And they're all throughout there. I've been picking I think I've ate my weight in them, but uh, 
Yeah, one of my favorite trail snacks. So, I'll right, share that with you. I'm gonna eat these little bit of blueberries. Then get on, oops, just dropped one. Hmm. Can't let them go to waste. I'll have to rinse them off. But yeah, good snacks. See you in a bit. Hey guys. Still burning the trail up. Had some water recently. A couple days of rain. It's nice not to have any rain. I really needed some trail therapy. So, I'm mom, we had a chestnut knob. I've been told the views are amazing. So, we're gonna see how that goes. I think I'm coming to a junction. We are back on the Sawtooth Trail. And it's not the right sign I'm looking for. Here it is. Chestnut Knob Trails, 0.2 miles. Signage is awesome. Can't go wrong here. Here's the other trail. I came from that way. So I'm going that way. So All right. I'll see you in a little while. So we're, we've got some up to do. It's really enjoyable. It's not, uh, it's not like straight vertical. But, uh, more of a lazy up. I'm still on the hunt for blueberries now. Ooh. Speaking of, look what I just found. We're going for him. Oh yeah. Mm. Straight off the bush. Yeah. Trail snacks. Oh. oh, my goodness. I should just take my shoes off and have lunch. <laughs> Not the gold mine. Listen, you have to eat them because if you don't, they go to waste or the birds get them. So. Or the rodents. Or the bears. Oh yeah. Uh-uh. Got some non-life ones. Yeah, excellent. I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, we've hit another <clears throat> junction. Um, we're gonna go this way. We're taking the chestnut, no chestnut Knob Trail to Chestnut Knob Overlook. And hopefully there I'll get some pretty cool, uh, some cool footage, some good views, hopefully. I think you, they say you can see um, uh, High Shoals Waterfall from that location so I guess we're gonna find out and I'm also gonna try a different camera uh, I've got a Sony camera as well as this GoPro that I'm using right now and I'm gonna see if that footage is uh, not any better or any worse but I just haven't had time to take it out of my pack and, uh, or the desire to take it off and find it so anyway keep rolling and uh, kind of, well, it looks like I've got a little ways to go as far as cresting. <clears throat> but I've got some 
pretty good views here off there I know it's the GoPro doesn't do it justice as long as you're within like 16 feet it's okay <clears throat> when you're looking at about a mile out a mile out and oh wow that's pretty I can see another trail huh. more blueberries <laughs> I'm not stopping. I've had my full, my fill. I heard something rustling the leaves. I wasn't sure if it was a snake or something else. Well, let me see who sent me some love. Back in a minute. Hey guys. I believe this is Chestnut Knob Overlook. It's, uh, it's pretty spectacular. I enjoy the, uh, to the peak. Although, from where I'm standing, I can see a bald eagle. I know it's, you guys probably can't. Never mind, he's gone. So, you're not gonna see him either. Pretty cool stuff. See you in a little bit. Hey guys. So I'm kinda glad to this in reverse. I came counterclockwise. I figured all the elevation gain was gonna be all at one time coming up the chestnut knob. And I think I was right. Cause this is the down. And it's going to be a whole lot easier going down than it is coming up this thing. So, it's a pretty intricate stairwell they built. A bunch of six by sixes tied together. <clears throat> and then the earth just kind of fills in the dirt, fills in the holes. Kind of cool. Okay. And down I go. See you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. So nothing new to report. It's just the exit of Chestnut Ridge. It's uh, 2.3 miles from the overlook. And it's 2.3 miles of this. So, just a lot of this. I'm not going to lie. It's still pretty. Yeah. Except here. I'll see you in a little bit.